Okay guys, I'm the blue dot. There's the radar. And I'm heading out on the boat. But I'm not going into open water, so I should be alright. I think so. Ooh. Well, I'll be fine. Oh boy. Alright, I gotta go. Okay guys, so the clouds are looking better, but over here, <laughs> it's pretty dark. Oh, there's not too bad. That's the bridge we're gonna go under if we need to. And hang out there if it gets too bad. So, her tire squealing. Monkey just pulled out. So, I'm gonna let this get warmed up. I'll take a little ride. I gotta burn some of this gas out of here. Uh, Cause I put a little bit too much in and I couldn't get all the oil in, but it'll be fine. And then, uh, then we'll start our camping trip. So, brought a table, brought my cook stuff. We're just gonna have some noodles today. All right, I gotta give me a drink and my cigarettes. And uh, I'll be back with you guys in a second. I gotta get this stuff all situated and all that. I got it over on that side, you know, so it will level the boat out more. These small boats, you gotta think about that stuff. So, all right, I'm gonna take a cruise. Okay guys, so this is like a big island around here. I'm thinking about anchoring off somewhere in here tonight. Cause, uh, I was going to go to that one place that we went to and stopped at, had that little beach there, but the thing about it is, I mean, Monkey said, well, you're still on the boat. Yeah, but, you know, if I'm beached there, I'm not really, you know, I'm not really on the water. So it's kind of defeating the purpose of going out on the water and sleeping on the boat. I mean, if that's the case, you know, why not just tie off to the dock? It'd be the same thing. So, I'm gonna put my depth finder on here. I brought some fishing poles and some bait. I might do some fishing. Um, the, the sky's looking a little better on this end, but over there, it's, uh, yeah, it's pretty ominous. But, yeah, I'm just going to kind of, it's real shallow in here, so it'd be good to anchor off in here. But, um, I don't know. We'll see, I just wanted to show you that. Uh, we went clear around here on our other boat one time, so, anyway, I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna go around here and check it out, see what's going on. Okay, everybody, just sitting here, I'm gonna go get some gas for some people that ran out of gas, I just, um, they just, we just drifted over to, uh, some lily pads and this little boat pulled that boat out. Pretty cool. 
So she's got somebody going getting her gas, so I'm gonna run over. I don't have an extra gas can, so I'm gonna run over. I'll show you guys and then uh, get some gas and bring it back to them. So got back up. All right. So when other things go on, I'll uh, get back with you. Hearing a little bit of thunder, it's kind of getting dark back over in there, but at least it's cool and breezy, so. All right, I'll let you know what's going on. All right, so I got the gas can back there. I'm gonna go back, it's just a small can. I don't know if it's gonna get that big boat running or not. I may have to try to pull them back. I guess they live over here around the turn on the water, so I may have to give them a tug and see. Um, but anyway, it's good to help people. I hate to see anybody stranded. So, all right, we're going to go under the bridge here and take this over to them and see if we can't get that boat started. Stick around, guys. All right, guys, check this out. The old girl's doing it. <laughs> we're not wide open. This thing's pulling them right along pretty good, so... We ain't got the gas, it's just not enough to pick up. They, that thing's got a big tank and it was only like a gallon of gas. So I'm gonna pull them around here, back to their dock. So I'll get back with you guys in a second. All right guys, so we got them towed in and uh, I wanna head back over in this cove over here by the bridge. This thing pulled that boat with no problem. Um, yeah, so. <laughs> monkey was messaging me because we heard thunder she said i heard that thunder i said me too i said i'm towing someone in the shore they ran out of gas so monkey i got us a couple new subscribers and um they took video of me towing the boat towing their boat so they're going to send it to me and i'll give it to you too monk and i'll put it in this video so if if they send it to me in time i'll put it in this video So, all right guys, I'm gonna go find a place. It's really dark over there. Yeah, it was like, you still gonna camp out in the storm? Hell yeah. <laughs> all right guys, I'll be back with you in just a minute. I'm gonna get over here, uh, get my fishing rig set up and uh, maybe we'll do some fishing back here in this cove or something. I don't wanna be too far away from this bridge just in case. So I'm gonna put the top back up. I put it down for less wind resistance pulling that boat. I didn't need to. This boat had had no problem. We wasn't even half throttle. It pulled it just fine. All right, guys, I'll be back with you. All right, guys, look. Looks like it's in our favor. Maybe not. All right, guys, so I just checked. Why is the screen so dark? I just checked, checked the radar. I think the worst of it's going to pass me, but I'm still in. It's over top of me now. That's Florida for you. So I'm just kind of cruising around here a little bit by the bridge because, you know, that's the only... The only place I can I can go. So, dang, monkey. <laughs> That's monkey sending me little little boats. <laughs> okay. I don't know how much fishing I'm gonna. Oh God, water world. <laughs> I don't know how much fishing I'm gonna get done, but we'll see. Okay, guys. I don't have my wireless mic on yet, but. I'm hearing some thunder, and so I'm going to head back towards the, uh, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but I'm going to head back towards the, the, uh, bridge, and I'll take you along with me.
yeah, so I just got you on my tripod here. And I got it, like, bungee corded to the, uh, to the dashboard there. Oh, man, yeah, it's looking ominous. <laughs> We're driving right into it. Yeah, just our luck, right? Yeah, that's why I'm not going too far away from that bridge right now. It's supposed to get nasty, but it could pass us. I'm not sure if it will or not. Hopefully the majority of it will. Still haven't got my fishing gear out yet. Just kind of cruise back in this channel, get some shade. Get ready to put the top back up. Right over there on the left. That's where we came and got the gas. It just wasn't just wasn't enough. It's just too big of a tank for one gallon can of gas. So I figured I was gonna have to tow them. So it started and then quit. Started and quit. And I was like, yeah, you know what? I'll just tell you where you gotta go. It's not that far. But the water's real choppy out there. And I guess they were almost there. They could see where they had to go when they first ran out of gas and then they drifted clear to the other end of the lake. And then especially by the time I came and got that gas and went back, I was like, where the heck are they? <laughs> and then I looked way on, they were another mile. They drifted that far. And see, that was going into like lily pads and I said, that'd be all right. Cause I can pull you guys out of the lily pads. But it drifted around the lily pads and I said, get someone pull you out of the lily pads and they was like no we drifted <laughs> I was like oh okay because it was a lot farther and I was like man I know they was in here somewhere kind of hard to lose a big boat like that you know okay so we got some sun coming out but on one side of me on the left hand side of me is the sun on the right hand side of me it's very, very ominous. So yeah, I think I'm gonna put the put the top up. As soon as I get under this bridge, I'll put the top up and then uh, just maybe cruise around a little bit. I'll check to see how much gas I used and then put the rest of that oil in it. Oh man, it's really dark over here to my right. But I see people still out there jet skiing, so. Maybe they know, maybe they know something I don't. bridge if it gets nasty I don't even think I'm gonna try to put the tarp up over top of the Femini top I think I'll just come here and anchor in here I think I'll be alright for a little bit oh wow can you guys see that sky I'll turn you into it man that looks bad Yeah, that's right. Check it out, guys. Oh, lightning. Alright, I'm going to put the top up. Stick around.
check this out. Isn't that gorgeous? Awesome. So I'm doing a little fishing here. Just uh, just doing some bottom fishing right now. I don't feel like rigging up the other one for uh, for bass, but anyway. I'll kick you guys back on in a minute. Okay guys, I think I'm getting a hit and I don't have you on a tripod. Just on the other side of that bridge over there back in one of these little coves. But, um, I didn't bring a net. I did have a hit, but um, yeah, there it is, see it? are looking at here. There it is. Yeah, he's hitting on it. Focus. <laughs> oh, so I am getting a hit, but nothing major. I'm thinking about heading over to where we're going to set up camp and um, and uh, making something to eat. Like I said, I just brought some noodles tonight. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm getting a little hungry. It's uh. It's after six, probably about seven right now. These guys have cleared up a little bit. <coughs> Excuse me. So I think we're gonna be all right. Looks a little nasty, but haven't got much rain. It was sprinkling, but. Okay, yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. And then uh, we'll anchor off out there and we'll go from there. Stick around, guys. Hopefully we don't have to pull anyone else in. Okay guys, we're back here in a little uh, lagoon and a little cove. I was going to be over that way so I could see like boats going past and stuff, but it got really windy. It's actually on the other side of here, over to the right. So I was like, ah, and from where we scoped this out earlier, that little cove, this is where we're at. And it's not as windy, so, um, yeah, I'm here all by myself. Hopefully this place is haunted, right? Okay, so I've got me some water here. I've got it measured out exactly two cups. Like I said, we're just going to make some those noodles, they're called Knorr, K-N-O-R-R, -R, I believe. And I also measured to see if it would fit in here, it will. But <laughs> I didn't think it through about the noodles. Well, the noodles fit in here too. Um, that's left to be seen, I guess. So, yeah, <laughs> this boat is just perfect for one person to be camping on. The boat is running good. I don't know what that is floating in my water. No, I don't see it. Huh. So, but yeah. Um, I shouldn't move too much. I forgot to put the anchor down. The anchor's right back behind there. So, but yeah, this shouldn't take long to boil. And I'll put my noodles in. I'll get them stirred up. And then I gotta cook for just a couple minutes. And then I'll bring you back on when when I get my food done and then uh, I done some fishing that's the only bite I had <laughs> that one bite back at that on the other side of the bridge back there um, it's breezy so I haven't had any problems with mosquitoes or anything like that until just now I felt one land on me just now 
I seen one up there by the light. I do have my thermosel and I do have spray. I probably won't use the thermosel because it's so breezy. But um, I will put some spray on here in a little bit just in case. I got my bed set up here. Really not. I mean, all I did was lay it out and put a pad. Put my pad, sleep pad down on it. I don't know what you're seeing there, but there it is. So, yeah, should be a lot of fun. Um, I will do some fishing tonight, but <laughs> that hook's always in the wrong direction, no matter what I hook it on. It's always turned wrong. So, alright guys, I'll be back with you in a minute. Stick around. Uh, maybe we'll see a ghost or something. I really doubt it, but you know, you never know. <laughs> we are in, uh, by the way, we're in five feet of water, so we're good. Man, it got real windy back in this cove here now. I did put the anchor out. I had to move because it started pushing me into those lily pads, so I did have to move. Now, this stuff doesn't take any milk. It does, however, require butter, which I did not bring, so I'm not looking for this to be too, too great. <laughs> uh, it's already sticking, but, um, yeah, it'll be all right. Something deep. Monkey put me some snacks in my bag, in my backpack, so that's cool. I do have some snacks to eat. Um, I do have water. I've got pop. I do have a couple, you know, if I want something to drink, I did bring some chicken bouillon cubes. I always carry those in my pack. So, yeah, I got breezy down in here. So, sorry for the wind if you can hear any. All right, guys, I got to stir this. All right, so I got my food done. It's got to sit, <coughs> excuse me, for and thicken up for a little bit, a little bit, a couple minutes. But uh, blurred up there for a second. But yeah, so uh, yeah, monkey messaged me a while ago and said something about we need to plan a trip. I said hell yeah. She said. Where to? I said, don't know. And she sent me a couple places here in Florida. One's up by the Florida Georgia line. The other one's down south of us quite a ways. But they look like nice campgrounds, each of them. And we can bring our boat. We can bring Bruno. So they're, they are pet friendly. And they have tent camping. So that's good. Um, but yeah, that's... Uh, I do got to replace the wheel bearings in, in the boat trailer before we go that far, but yeah. I'm just kind of kicking it. I'm going to throw my fishing rod out. Not my fishing rod. I'm going to throw a line in the water here. Figure out which way the boat's wanting to turn. Because I got this light on, so I can't really see nothing out here. I can see if I go like this, I can see we're turning a little bit, but... I should have brought, I almost brought two anchors. I should have brought one for the front, and I didn't. I thought, yeah, I'll just let it, you know, drift around whatever it wants to do, and I'm I'm good with that. So, yeah, no biggie. All right, I'm going to let this stuff thicken up a little bit more. It tastes fine, don't get me wrong. It just, you know, <laughs> there are there is some stuck to the bottom, but not, like, clumpy or nothing, but... Yeah, it turned out all right. Yeah, I see, I, I can see we're moving now. <laughs> but we're just kind of around in a circle because, you know, the um, just got the anchor back here at the stern on one side. So should be okay. All right, guys, I'll be back with you here in a minute. Let me eat my supper, and then it's a late supper, too. What time is it? It's like it cooled down, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Glad I got a jacket and another shirt in there. I think I, I think I got another shirt. Yeah, but I don't think I'll need the jacket. But 9:24. So, all right. More fun to come. Hope you guys are having fun. Cause I'm having a blast. I, I love this kind of stuff. You know. Uh, after I eat, we'll do a story time, and I'll tell you about my very first camping, solo camping trip, which was actually my first 
camping trip ever was a solo camping. I think I was 11, 10 and a half, 11, right in there, if I remember right. So I was still in grade school. So, yeah, it's a pretty good story. Um, I think you'll like it. True story, by the way. So when I do these story times like this, if they're true, I'll tell you they're true. If they're made up, like, you know, when I do for Halloween and stuff, I'll tell you this is totally fabricated. But these kind of stories here are true. So, uh, but anyway, hey, I'll be back with you. I'm getting a little hungry. Uh, I haven't ate today, so time to eat. Okay, so I just laid down, getting ready to do my story time, and then I'm going to watch some YouTube. Started raining. It's not raining hard. Just some sprinkling. I felt it, so... I got underneath here for a minute. I think everything will be all right. It's not supposed to rain anymore. I mean, like I said, we may get some some sprinkles or something like that, but uh, the storms the storms are over with. So for tonight, uh, I don't know. Maybe tomorrow we might get some. I'm not sure. I can check. Let's check and let's see what the weather is tomorrow. Um, yeah, phone got wet. Um, let's see. It says rain expected to end soon. So. Yeah. 75 degrees, it's nice out here. You guys hear that? Listen. Isn't that awesome? They're loud and them frogs and some night birds was uh, squawking earlier. S still better than than sirens and uh, and uh, jake breaks, right? Well, I don't know. I, I like I like the sound of a good sound and uh, dual stacker jake once in a while. But you get the idea, right? Yeah, 75 says rain shower. Nothing major. Yeah, it doesn't look like anything that I got to worry about. The well, uh, about three o'clock tomorrow, it's supposed to rain. Uh, I'll probably be out of here by then. Uh, the rest of the night is really not calling for anything. So let's see what the radar says here. I've been a couple fish jumping all around me. I, I got my line in the water, but. Haven't had a single bite. Let's see. Come on. Out in the middle of nowhere. Still have one bar though. Here we go. It's loading. Um, but yeah, I was just getting ready to do story time. I was like, what is that? <laughs> it felt like real tiny, you know, those real tiny raindrops. Yeah, we're, we're not... Uh, I don't think we're going to get anything major. Yeah, we're good. Um, it is 1027, so yeah, we're... Uh, there might... No, it's already past us. Um, might be a little bit of sprinkles, but other than that, it's nothing. So, all right, I'm going <laughs> to... Wi-Fi is available. Okay, uh, all right, I'm gonna get off here and then uh, we'll do story time. Then I'm gonna watch some YouTube and um, that's pretty much it. So, it'll, you know, unless I catch a big fish or something like that, but, uh, or see a Bigfoot swimming across here, but I don't I don't think that's gonna happen. I don't think we're gonna see any, any ghosts. Uh, I'm the only boat out here on this whole lake. Um, about 45 minutes ago, I seen two airboats go past. They was heading out that channel underneath that little bridge um, out toward where I was thinking about camping, uh, where I took you guys to that little beach thing there that somebody's made up. But, yeah, they was heading out that way, but that's the only two boats I've seen, and 
probably about two and a half hours so yeah awesome <laughs> I'll be right back with you guys story time okay so uh, most of you guys know but if you don't uh, you know up in Ohio you know my grandmother had 63 acres that's what my dad grew up on and I mean it's still there but I'm down here <laughs> but um so you know I, I just loved it when I was out there and uh, so I'd go out <coughs> excuse me you know every weekend I was out there and in the summertime I was out there you know every day we only lived like four miles from there so one day I wanted to uh, do a, a, a camp out I was probably 10 and a half 11 years old um, maybe 12 tops but I don't think I was 12 yet I was in fifth or sixth grade if I was in sixth grade I'm, I would have been about 12 years old so I wanted to go you know up on a hill and just on the outside of the pines there's a, there was a pine there, well it's still there there's a pine thicket there and I wanted to go up in that area and I, I wanted to do an overnight camping trip because I, I bought there was this place called Rink's Bargain City, you know, um, one of those stores you, you buy all kinds of stuff at. And I bought this little sparky thing for fire start, you know, and just scrape it. And so, something like a ferro rod, it was just, it was more, more like a magnesium, magnesium flint stick is kind of what it was. And I wanted to try it out, so I want to go camping. So, Dad's like, well, you know, you gotta ask your mom. I'm like, oh, crap. So, we talked her into it. First, she was like, no, you, you can go out to the farm, but, you know, you, you don't need to be camping up in there by yourself. He'll be all right. He'll be all right. So, my dad helped me out there, you know. And I'm like, okay, cool. So, I want to try this out. So, we get out there, you know, he goes in, because my dad's mom, you know. He talks to Grandma for a little bit tells him tells her what what I'm gonna be doing and stuff and she was like okay that's you know where you're gonna be so I know and uh, she never did come and check on me that I know of she may have because you hear all kinds of things in the woods some of that stuff I heard was might have been her and and not a raccoon or something you know so but you know he was like you, you got everything you need I'm like yeah he said Did you bring any matches or anything I said no I brought this he said, well, you sure you're going to be able to get a fire started with that? You ever done it before? I was like, no, but I'm pretty confident I can do it. He was like, well, all right, well, get your get your satchel there. And it was just like a little duffel bag, really, is all it was. Had my stuff in there. And uh, so it was just a blank. I didn't have, you know, I didn't have a, a sleeping bag or a tent or you know, really anything like that. I just kind of slept under the stars, you know. I uh, brought a blanket and a pillow, uh, a flashlight, you know, so I get ready to start my fire. I'm digging through my duffel bag there, and, uh, and I, I find my fire starter, and, um, and right by my fire starter was my dad's Zippo lighter. I never thought, you know, when he was taking me out there to drop me off, you know, when he was lighting a cigarette, I, I never thought he was using a Bic instead of his, but as soon as I seen his Zippo, I knew, I knew what he, he had done. And then it dawned on me, he was using a Bic lighter and, uh, and then it hit me. He put that in there just in case I couldn't get a fire going. I did it, I did it by the way, guys, I did it. it took me a little bit, it took me 15, 20 minutes four or five tries you know I mean I'm, you know 11 years old or whatever but I did it but you, you know I mean he he had that in there you know uh, I I just thought that that was the coolest thing you know that he was looking out for me like that and you know I couldn't miss it you know he put it right right by my fire my fire striker and, and I, I there's no way I could miss it it, it was right there my dad's zippo lighter I, I just thought, you know, that that was the coolest thing, you know, some of the memories that I, I have. I, I had a good life, you know. 
I mean, we didn't, you know, I, I didn't know we were poor. I didn't really know what poor was, you know. I mean, I had everything I needed, you know. I didn't have everything I wanted, but I had everything I needed, you know. I was dry when it was raining, you know. I was warm when it was cold out, and, you know, my my if I got hungry, I had food. And I had the greatest parents in the world and the greatest siblings in the world. It, it just, uh, you know, I was very fortunate. And, and I am to this day, I'm still very, very, very fortunate. But uh, I just I just wanted to share that with you that, you know, he he, he left his Zippo lighter there. And so the next day when he comes out to pick me up, and uh, he was, you know, he, he, he lit a cigarette. How's your camping trip go, Mart? He called me Mart, you know. I was like, yeah, it went pretty good. I said, did, did, did you lose your Zippo? He said, let's not play games. You know where my Zippo is, and I'll give it back. <laughs> I said, well, Dad, thanks. I appreciate it, but I did get the fire going. He said, did you? I said, yeah. He said, that's good. He said, but you never know. Always have a backup plan. So, you know, he was like, that's, that's kind of when I got into the, you know, I'd, I'd rather have it not need it than need it not have it thing because he said that you know well what if you couldn't you know what if you couldn't get it going you know true he said you had a zippo there I was like, ah very good so you know this day well you know I'm a smoker but to this day even if I didn't smoke there there would be one of these in my pocket and I always carried you know from then on from then on I always carried a Bic lighter with me at, everywhere it didn't matter you know, and how I didn't start smoking until my early 20s, so, but I always carried a big lighter with me, and, uh, it's got me out of a few jams a couple of times, not like survival situations, but, yeah, I mean, but, yeah, so, just, just to thank all them times, so, thanks, Dad, <laughs> thank you guys for watching, and, uh, listening to my story, I appreciate it, so, that's story time for tonight, so, I'm gonna watch some YouTube, and uh, just kind of kick back a little bit. Got a nice little breeze. Uh, it, it's still, it's kind of muggy out, but it's it's not hot. I got, like I said, I got a nice little breeze going. So um, I took some a couple pictures just trying out my uh, DJI action camera here. Um, I never actually took stills with it and a real life situation like this so i took a couple and i'll throw them in right now and you guys uh and i'll be back with you after that and uh to tell you good night or or whatever so anyway guys i'll talk to you in a minute Okay guys, I think I'm going to try to do a little fishing. If I catch anything, I'll kick you back on. Um, doing a little time lapse in there, but with the boat moving, I don't know how it's going to turn out. It probably won't, but that's okay. We'll get them next time. I do have some pretty cool pictures though. I'll share them with you. You already seen some. I'll show you some more. But uh, yeah, so uh, if I don't catch anything, I'll catch you in the morning. It is just been messaging monkey uh sending pictures back and forth she sent me a picture some kind of shop photoshop picture where it looked like she was outside at night and i was like that's cheating <laughs> but uh yeah it's uh 12 31 so yeah all right so yeah if i catch something i'll kick you back on if not i'll catch you guys in the morning Check it out guys. Good morning. 6.03 a.m. The fog lifting off the water.
cool, huh? Didn't get much sleep. I was comfortable and all, I just could not sleep. So, they're lying out a few times. They're, they're just, man, I don't know. There's, there's fish in here because I heard them jumping around me all night long. And I've seen a few of them jump up out of the water all night long. They ain't hitting on live bait. Well, you know, real meat. And they're not hitting on that fake worm. So, I don't know, guys. Oh, well. I'm going to get my bed taken down and get it put away and all my trash and stuff. This was my pillow. <laughs> All right, I'll be back with you. Check it out, guys. A little bit foggy today. Can't even see them houses over there anymore. I can't hardly see these trees. Yeah, that's really foggy. That's the way we gotta go out <laughs> that way. Well, we can go around that way. It's a lot longer. I think when we leave, we'll just go out this way. And, uh, yeah. Ain't no fish here. <laughs> so I've just been sitting here kicking it. And, uh, that's my sleeping pad. I didn't roll it up and put it away because I got to take it home and dry it out. Because there's, there's a lot of moisture on everything. A lot of dew on the windshield and all over the seats and... Glad Monkey sent them paper towels with me because everything is soaked, you know, I mean, like, that's soaked. That's just from dew. <laughs> so, I don't want to need this right now. Yeah, so I'm going to sit here for a little while longer. Uh, what time is it? I think it's about 7 o'clock. Something like that. Yeah, 6.59. So, yeah. It's been a fun one. I would absolutely do it again. I don't know about two people being on here doing that, but it can be done. <laughs> Check that out. Pretty wild. Remember that movie, The Fog? Yeah. Oh, look, can't hardly see that tree there anymore now. Just since we turned the camera on. Where's it? Oh, it's disappearing right before my eyes. I can't even see it now. Yeah, I think I'll sit here a little longer. Wow. Oh. Yeah. A lot of fog. Pretty cool. But I had a great time. Happy Father's Day, everyone. So, uh, yeah, this is my Father's Day solo. Yeah, I can't see that tree no more. I could see it just w when we started talking, but now I can't see it. <laughs> so, yeah, happy Father's Day, everyone. Appreciate everyone watching. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do any fishing today. I'm just going to kind of tool around till monkey gets up and then uh that'll be about it load the boat up and go home take a nap i don't know why i couldn't sleep i was comfortable i was really comfortable i had that jacket on not because i was chilly or anything it's because uh 4 35 o'clock this morning i could hear mosquitoes buzzing around me so i did get my thermocell out and uh yeah, I got my thermocell out and uh, turned it on. I, I put my jack, I put that jacket on just in just in case, so I I wouldn't get bit up. So I, mean, I can't see nothing. I see some trees. But I, can't, I can't see nothing out that way. <laughs> wow! Because that rain yesterday, you know, that little bit of rain we got. Jeez. I'm having a hard time seeing these trees over here. Hey, you can see them pretty good in the camera. All right, guys. 
I'll be back with you. And 10 minutes later, we can see houses. Well, somewhat. Yeah. You know what they say, you don't like the weather in Florida. Wait five minutes. It's got something for everybody. <laughs> Alright guys, so... I'm gonna take a little ride. I gotta pull the anchor up. <clears throat> we'll take a little cruise now that the fog went away. A little bit of seaweed around the prop, but I think it will be all right. I don't have my wireless mic on. See how she starts. All right. What you guys are seeing there. Yeah, so it's gonna take a little ride. I don't know if Monkey wants to take a ride when she gets here or not, but that's gonna be a little bit yet. Always wear these things, guys. Well, from, can't remember what time it was, up until about 5.45 this morning, there, there wasn't any boats out last night. After I told you guys, I seen the two. After that, there was no more up until early this morning. I think there's a couple guys going fishing. That fish right over here. But yeah, it's just uh, I had, a, had a real good time. See how deep we are here. Okay guys, monkey's on her way. She's gonna pick me up. It's early. It's not even 8.30. But uh, I guess she wants to get breakfast. She wants to go to McDonald's. So I was like, all right, come on out. So I'm gonna end this video here. And uh, I wanna say thanks for everyone watching. I appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. 
Glad I can help the girls out. Um, I don't like to see anybody stranded, so, you know, uh, at least it was just a, a fuel issue that, you know, they didn't like blow an engine or something like that, but, so, yeah, that's, uh, a couple boats going past, but, uh, yeah, they really appreciated it, and, uh, they offered me money and drinks and food, I was like, nah, I was alright. I said, just pay it forward. I said, you may have to tow me in sometime. So, <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So, anyway, glad I could help. Um, but, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one again. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. And, uh, see you in the next one. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend, I'm gone for now. We'll see you guys in the next one. Too smooth. <laughs> we'll see you. Bye-bye.